Two years ago, in February 2022, the world watched with bated breath as tensions flared between Russia and Ukraine. Meanwhile, a world away, the Middle East was in the throes of its own turmoil. Iran's pursuit of security led to a missile and drone strike on Balochistan, a province of Pakistan. This move, acknowledged by Iran's foreign minister, was aimed at Jaish al-Adl, a group deemed a terrorist organization by Iran. Fast forward to December 2023, Iran's military actions escalated with strikes extending to Iraq and Syria. In the dusk of this year, an Israeli airstrike in Damascus claimed the life of a high-ranking Iranian general, Sayed Radzi Mousavi, fueling further tensions in the region. Retaliatory strikes by Iran-backed militias on Israel and US troops became a grim reminder of the spiraling conflict. As we step into the new year, 2024, the feud between Iran and Pakistan intensifies. Iran's earlier assault on Balochistan provoked Islamabad to assert its right to retaliate. The result? Airstrikes on militant targets within Iranian territory, a move that Pakistan deemed necessary in response to an unlawful act. Pakistan's foreign ministry voiced its deep concern over the breach of international norms. The attack described as an unprovoked violation of Pakistan's sovereignty and airspace was a stark contradiction of the principles of the United Nations Charter. Diplomatic measures ensued with Islamabad recalling its ambassador from Iran and barring the Iranian ambassador's return. As the conflict between Israel and Hamas rages on with France and Qatar brokering a deal to send medicine to hostages in Gaza, the Middle East's political landscape remains a hotbed of volatility. The shared 900 kilometers border between Iran and Pakistan has become a focal point of security concerns, with both nations accused of harboring militant groups responsible for cross-border attacks. To summarize, the events of the past two years present a complex tapestry of international relations marked by a rising tide of conflict and retaliation. The boundaries of nations, both physical and metaphorical, continue to be tested in the pursuit of national security. The question remains, will diplomacy and international law prevail, or will the cycle of aggression continue to spin? Only time will reveal the answers.